Hey everyone, thank you so much for checking out my new preset pack. I created this set of presets really to help guide you and give you a few different starting points for your images. And these are actually the presets that I use as starting points for each and every one of my images as well. Uh, so the point of this video really is to show you how each preset works, teach you how to use them as well, um, and show you a few different examples of the presets in action. So let's get started. So this first image here I have, um, this is obviously a lifestyle type image. So I would go to my lifestyle image or lifestyle preset here. This is best for enhancing all types of lifestyle images, especially those taken during golden hour as well. Um, so for me, that's a little bit too bright. And you can see here actually, if you just hover over each preset, you can see what it will do to your image. The minus one and the plus one, that's minus one stop of exposure plus one stop of exposure. So it makes it a lot easier for you. But so let's click on this AO lifestyle. That's a good starting point. For me, then I would just quickly probably add a little bit more warmth to the image, maybe a little bit more exposure as well. But you can quickly see the difference that it makes in that image for you. All right, so let's move on to the next image here. Can scroll down through, see what each one does as well. But for me, I know that I want this one to be edited with the greens, nice moody feel to it. So let's click that one. Rather than bumping up the whole exposure for the entire image, let me show you how this light enhance bonus preset pack works. So you have options for horizontal images and vertical images. This is a vertical image, so let's hover over the side light and the top light. You can see what it will do. And for this image, I want to go with the top light. That's the most natural feeling spot for, for added light. So, in, And when you're using these light enhanced presets, you really want to just enhance the light that's already there in the image. So let's go ahead and do that. What I would do maybe as well is add some more light down here just to give you a little bit more focus leading into the rest of the shot. And this is just a quick edit, but you can see what it will do to your images with green in there. One thing I like to recommend is always play around with the white balance as one of the first things that you do with the image as well too. That can really help set the mood and, and the tone for the entire image. The greens also does work really well for urban photos too. So you can see here just a quick before and after with the greens on the bridge up in Canada. Let's move on to the next one. So for this image, I went and used my color pop preset. You can see what it does there. Essentially just what the preset says, it, it makes everything pop. Um, it's really great with all types of images as well. It's definitely been becoming one of my favorite presets as well. And you can go ahead and brighten it up if you want as well too, but you can see a quick before and after for that one. Moving on, we have a nice city street, so you guessed it. We're gonna go ahead with the city streets preset. And you can see what it does there. Just creates a nice mood to the whole image. This is the preset I end up using as a starting point for a lot of my images. And again, instead of just bumping up the whole exposure, we have light coming from the side over here. So let's go ahead and click side light left. And then you can see the difference it makes just with those two clicks there. And like I said, these are really quick edits. I'd go in and, and kind of run through all the settings and even these side light options too, you can customize them and make them less or more strong and, and whatnot too. So this is just a quick starter point for you. Moving on here, this is of the Bay Bridge and this is perfect for Moody Night preset. You can see here, run through them all. I liked having it bumped up. So this is gonna be Moody Nights plus one. And then let's adjust the white balance a little bit. So as I'm moving the tint over, I'm getting rid of kind of the, the green that was down here. And then you can go in and if you wanna cool off the image a little bit more too, you can pull that down. 
and then I'd go in and adjust the HSLs, all that stuff too, but you can see what it does to the image there. All right, let's just take a look. This is a horizontal image, so I wanted to show you how the horizontal image light enhance works. So you can see it's the same as what we've been doing, but if you were to try to do a vertical image, the right, left, and top doesn't work the same way. So I just created a separate one for a horizontal image. So the light's coming from this side over here. You can add in some extra light that way. If you wanted to add a little color pop or something like that too. City streets, if you wanted that, you could do lifestyle. And that's what it looks just with a couple clicks as well. And then this final image here, I wanted to just show you that the Moody Nights preset doesn't need to just be like a strictly pure night photo. It actually works great for images like this too. So you can see it click there, maybe brighten it up a little bit. And you can pull down, maybe get rid of some of the, the tint there. And you can see a quick before and after for that image as well. So that's it for this quick video. Thank you so much again for your interest in the presets. And if you have any other questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Thanks.